Okay, we are on 12.1. We are talking about the fundamental accounting principle and permutations. So we're going to do some examples. Now, before I teach you how to type this in on the calculator, all right, I want you to understand the formula. And this is the formula. So I need to make sure you understand. This first number here stands for n, and the second number stands for r. n, notice the first number is always, right, the first number there is always larger than the second. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind when you're doing these. The first number is larger than the second. So when you fill it into that formula, it's 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial. So it's really like saying 7 factorial over 4 factorial. And when you write that out, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, the reason why I have you writing it out for this example is because they both have something in common. They both have a 4, a 3, a 2, and a 1. So when we cross it out, really, that's all you got to plug in on your calculator. So 7 times 6 times 5. So the correct answer to this problem right here is 210. So 210 is your answer for that problem. 5, 1, remember that's n and that's r, so according to the formula, that's n factorial over n minus r factorial. So it's like saying 5 factorial over uh, 5 minus 1 factorial. And that is like saying 5 um, factorial over 4 factorial. So it's like saying 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and these items cancel out only leaving you with the 5 so really this answer is just 5 and last um, putting this in here that's n that's r so keep in mind it's n factorial over n minus r factorial that's like saying 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 factorial and that's like saying 9 factorial over 4 factorial so I'll show you another little trick here to solve this 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 and I'm stopping right there 4 factorial I know why I'm stopping right there because what's in the bottom 4 factorial 4 factorial is the same as me saying 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so instead of me writing the whole thing out I just abbreviated it as 4 factorial and the reason why I did that is now those two items can both cancel out so all I have left is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 you end up getting the answer of 15,120 so eventually here I will show you how to plug those in on your calculator but first I want to make sure you know how to do them by hand so when we come back, we will uh, do some problems um, with rearranging the letters.